Durham slipped to a second NatWest T20 Blast defeat, going down at home in a repeat of last year's final, this time by six wickets to Northamptonshire with four balls to spare. Put in, the Jets lost Graham Clark to the ninth ball of the match. Ben Sanderson starting well, with Josh Cobb the man to complete the dismissal with a smart catch inside the circle. Bowler and fielder combined again in the fifth over after Sanderson had switched ends. Adam Hickey the man out this time having just taken a couple of fours off Rory Kleinfeld in the previous over in his 15. The six overs of power play brought Durham a total of 40 for two and it was left first to Michael Richardson and then Jack Burnham to clear the rope for maximums in the same grey and white over the ninth of the innings. The bowler fully punished for dragging the ball down. Richardson was looking good in scoring 25, but was the first to fall to the wilds of South African spinner Tabre Shamsi, who was to play a vital role on his debut for the Steelbacks. The batsman didn't seem sure that he'd nicked it, however. 76 for 3 was the score halfway through, but the scene was improving with Paul Collingwood first going big off Stephen Crook after Burnham had been spilled off Shamsi. Collingwood then repeated the dose in the next over, the 14th delivered by Cobb, who was also hit into the distance by Burnham in an over that cost 17 runs. In six and a half overs together, this pair added 57 runs, the total up to 130 with four overs remaining. Shamsi then returned to bowl his fourth and final over to have Collingwood held at short extra by Cobb for 38 for figures of two for 20, and the home side never fully recovered from that loss. The next over brought two more wickets. Paul Cochran was held by White off Kleinfeld. And next ball, Stuart Pointer had his stumps rattled by the big South African, leaving the score on 138 for six with three overs to go. That became 153 for seven with one remaining as Ryan Pringle helped Kleinfeld end with figures of three for 28 from his four overs crook with the simple catch on this occasion. In his sixth T20 contest, Burnham did at least record his maiden half century in this format before the innings was wrapped up, his 50 occupying 39 balls and including three fours and two sixes. But in the end, the Jets had to settle for a final score of 161 for seven from their 20 overs, perhaps 20 fewer than they would have wanted. Initially, though, the Steelbacks openers struggled to time the ball and Adam Rossington was given a massive life when Richardson somehow let one slip through his fingers at mid-on. But Ben Duckett did manage to find some timing to scoop Chris Rush with over fine leg for a six in the third over. Rossington also went big off James Whale in the next one, but then turned the bowler to Rushworth, who combined together to get rid of the opener for 14 just when a wicket was needed. The power play brought North Ants a score of 41 for 1, and when Cobb soon fell to Cochrane for 15, there really was nothing to choose between the two teams. The ultimate difference between the two turning out to be the innings of Duckett, the England man always seeming to have things under his control for a team which has learned how to do really well in this format without being the most athletic of sides. Duckett passed a 50 or 40 balls with six fours and one six, and he added three more boundaries to his tally and getting to 72 from 56 as he and his skipper Alex Wakeley brought the target down to 29 of 20 balls with a stand of 80 for the third wicket, one which used up nine overs. For once, some trickery from the left-handed Duckett didn't come off and he was held by Collingwood off Usman Arshad, a much needed wicket for the Jets. Wakeley was then taken just inside the boundary by Burnham off Whale for 27, just to give the home supporters some hope. Two new batsmen in with 18 runs to find for the final two overs. But Rob Keogh and Crook held their nerve and kept their discipline. 12 coming off the penultimate over, and then this shot over mid-off, bringing the visitors their victory to the second delivery of the final over. The six-wicket defeat followed the loss to Lancashire on Friday, but there is a lot of time to turn things around. And next up for the Jets is another home tie against Leicestershire on Thursday, July the 20th with a 6.30 start.